Hello fashion sewers. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do understitching. Now I had a request, well sort of like a request from uh, one of my readers, Brittany, who inquired about understitching and what areas of the garment it is used and why it's used. So hopefully in this tutorial those questions will be answered. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog. This is a project I've done some time ago and I'm going to show you what the facing looks like um, on the inside which is here and as you can see there's a small row of stitching here and this is what's keeping the facing on the inside of the garment and stopping it from raising to the front so your front should look pristine like this so you can't see any of the facing coming over. Under stitching is usually done on two sections of the garment. One's the neckline, like I've got here, and the other is the collar. So I'm going to demonstrate those two techniques for you. So as you can see, I've actually sewn the, the collars together, and I've also sewn the facing to the bodice neckline. Now I'm going to show you how to understitch the neckline, and as you can see, I've actually trimmed and greyed my seam allowance and that is what you're going to stitch onto. Right so make sure that the facing is facing towards you and you need to use both your hands for this technique because you're working on a curve and you want to keep the seam as flat as possible. So in a way what you're actually doing is like finger pressing, the heat of your fingers will help to keep it as flat as possible and making sure that you get a beautiful kind of curve when you've finished. So I'm going to start stitching that now because what it would help if I actually, um, there we go. Just go slow because you want, you want it as close as the edge as possible and you want to make sure it's all neat. You can use both your hands while you're doing this technique. Just follow the curve around, spreading it as you go. And remember, I'm actually stitching onto the seam allowance. A bit better. And this will help to keep the facing in place, and that's what you want. Because remember, when you actually cutting out fabrics and making garments, you're actually moulding it to what you want to do. And the fabric basically saying, well, I'm straight grain, so that's what I want to do. So you have certain techniques in order to achieve what you want from your fabric. And this is one of them. I'm getting all the way around there. And you know, it's, it's not only with collars or net lines. And can, it's also done on pockets. And it's wherever you kind of want the fabric to behave. And also different types of fabrics as well. Right, I'm coming to the end here. Right. Just snip my thread off. And as you can see, there's a curve now. And then what happens then is that you go to your iron and press it around. But let me just show you before that actually happens. So that you can see that it's now doing what you want it to do. Yeah, so you're getting your curve there. Let me just show you on the other side what that looks like. Okay, so that is the neckline. Now I'm going to show you how to understitch the collar. Okay, so this is the collar and it's on the right side. Now I'm going to work inside the collar. So I'm going to open the collar out and we're going to start at the centre here. The reason being is we're going to be getting to an area which is going to be difficult to sew in to. So we need to start at the middle of the collar and work towards the outer edge of the collar. Right. And remember, I'm actually sewing on the seam allowance again and I'm actually sewing onto the under collar. Needle down. Okay, and as close to the edge as possible. You can get a 
this is to keep the under collar in place so that you get that nice smooth clean finish that I showed you at the start of the tutorial so it doesn't matter whether you're working with a facing or a collar or a pocket you just want that nice clean effect now I'm getting towards the end of the collar and this is where it becomes um, a little bit difficult that's the reason why you need to start in the centre of the collar okay I'm going to stop roughly about there I'm not going to back stitch I'm going to raise my needle and pull that away and then hopefully you can see what I've done there you can see the difference in the fact that this looks and feels flatter than that section of the collar. Okay, I'm going to now go to my uh, iron and iron those flat for you so you can actually see what it looks like. Okay, now I've pressed the neckline of the facing, as you can see. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, turn it that way. That'll be much better. Now you can see the understitching and it has actually stabilised the, the neckline and that's what you're looking for. So now there should be no movement of the facing trying to come to the front. So that's what you need to do in order to get a nice, crisp, neat looking neckline when you understitch your facing. Right, the collar. Now, this is what it looks like on the back. So this is the under collar. Now, I've only done half of the collar so that you can see the difference between having it understitched and not having it understitched. Now, this is what, it, in order to actually describe this, it's, it's about feel more than anything else. Is that you can feel as though it's, it's set into place and you're gonna get that nice, crisp, clean line. And at the other end, it, it, you know there is no stability there so you, you know you're going to get movement from the under collar coming to the right side and that's what you don't want see this this is what happened you know as you wear the garment and this movement happening you can start to see that the under collar is starting to do what it wants to do because you haven't set it in other words you haven't understitched it and then with the understitched you can do as much movement and because you've set it, it doesn't appear. And that's understitching. I hope that tutorial has given you a better understanding of why we use understitching. And now you can go away and do that on all your sewing projects in order to add to that professional looking garment. Please subscribe to my fashion sewing blog uh, TV channel and I'll see you in my next video.